بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to season two of a sister's Ramadan I'm your sister Naima B Robert and I'm honored that you've joined me today this show is all about answering one central question how can we as Muslim women use this Ramadan to grow and heal from what has been an unprecedented year in our collective experience. How can we as Muslim women renew and replenish our Iman and our spirits, no matter what is going on in the world around us? The purpose of this show is to share a set of five skills that are essential for personal growth and healing and how we can best practice them through the rituals of Ramadan. Inshallah, this will offer you a perspective that will be beneficial long after the month has passed. In today's show, we will be looking at the power of showing up with a pure intention. At this stage, it's always a moment of thanks. Alhamdulillah that we have reached another Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, because there are so many who expected to be here and are no longer with us. And if this life in general and this year has taught us anything, it is the importance of showing up. I've used the term showing up, but what is showing up? Well, showing up is to be present and mindful in your life as it is right now. It means bringing your full self to whatever role you've been asked to play. And there can be fewer times more important than showing up in Ramadan. So my dear sister, what does showing up in Ramadan look like? Well, it's about being intentional. It's about being present. It's about being mindful. And if I'm honest, it's about truly being grateful for the fact that we've reached this point, that we have the ability to worship Allah in this special way and making the most of that opportunity and not letting any of it slip through our fingers. So, one of the things that we have been taught in our deen that we are all well aware of, but is always worth reiterating, is the importance of intention. Throughout our day in Ramadan, those of you who are mothers, you know what I'm talking about. We have our own responsibilities and our own roles that we play, as well as the acts of ibadah that we wish to perform. And so, intention comes in to be able to transform everything that you do on a daily basis to an act of worship. The Prophet Sallallahu said, verily deeds are only by intentions and verily every person will have only what they intended. Whoever emigrated to get something in the world or to marry a woman, then his emigration is for whatever he emigrated for. And so I want to remind you as you go through your day, to make your intention for every act that you do, whether it's ibadah in the strictest sense or just taking care of your responsibilities. I want to share with you a personal growth skill that inshallah will help you to show up much, much stronger than you ever have before in this Ramadan. And that is focusing on what you have control over. Now, many of us may be aware that there is such a thing as a circle of concern and a circle of influence. And I'd love to share with you the difference between these two. The circle of concern is the things that you in general are interested in, you care about, you may even be passionate about, but you have no personal involvement with and no power to actually change. That's the circle of concern. The circle of influence on the other hand is a bit tighter than that. The circle of influence includes the people who love, respect and trust you. That could be three people, 30 or 3 million, depending on who you are. The skill I would like to share with you today, my sister, is focusing your intention and your energy on your circle of influence. At no other time in our history have we been reminded of Allah's power and Allah's plan. And if that is the case, and if it is true that there are things happening around us that we have no control over, that there are tests that will come our way that we cannot ward off, then my reminder to you is this, focus on the things you can control. Focus on your circle of influence. 
This Ramadan says, I want you to show up. Show up for yourself. Show up for the people around you. Show up for those who you can actually influence and bring good to on a daily basis. And my challenge to you is to renew your intention daily throughout the day for everything. Don't let your deeds slip through your fingers because I know if you're anything like most sisters I know, you are showing up every day. You're here for your family. You're here for the people around you. You're trying like we all are. Let that trying be a hujjah for you. Let it be a proof for you. Renew your intention. Make it purely for the sake of Allah. Let it count for your akhirah. If you're able to do that, inshallah, you will find that your day becomes a day of bringing in the khair from every, every corner of your life. And that's really what I would like for you to fix your mind on and make your intention to do that for the rest of Ramadan. I hope you can do that for me. Now, my dear sister, you may be wondering, well, how can I renew my intention for everything? How can I keep showing up even when everything is on me and I feel so many responsibilities and I feel like I'm just not doing a good enough job? Well, you're not the only one because many, many, many sisters feel inadequate in the roles that they play. Uh, if I'm honest, we can be our own worst critics. We compare ourselves to others. We try to measure up to an unrealistic standard and we end up making ourselves feel less than worthy. Is that something that's ever occurred to you? And you may be thinking, I'm not like this sister or that sister. I don't have what she has. I don't have the opportunities that she has or the skills or the capabilities. But this is my reminder to you. Wherever you are in your life right now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen that place for you. And he has equipped you with the skills and the talents and the knowledge that you need to be able to show up in that role. And this is regardless of your circumstances. So my advice to you, my dear sister, is do not compare yourself to anyone else. You have a goal, and that is to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the very best version of yourself, having invested in your akhirah. That's your lane. Stick to your lane. What are your responsibilities in that lane? What role do you play? What skills do you bring to your unique job description? Show up for that. Make intention to do whatever it is that you've been asked by this life to do to the very best of your ability with a pure intention to please Allah. There is so much to be said for a person who is aware of their role, aware of their destination and brings their full self to whatever role it is that they're playing. And I want that to be you. So stop comparing yourself with others. Stop criticizing yourself and being hard on yourself and take, take heart from the fact that if Allah has brought me to this, he can bring me through this and make intention to do it in the very best way for the sake of Allah. Jazakallah khairan for joining me for this episode. If you've benefited from anything I shared today, alhamdulillah, please be sure to share the khair, leave us a comment and tell us your thoughts using hashtag Sisters Ramadan. And don't forget to tag Iman Channel and myself, Naima B. Robert. Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant wa astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. See you in the next episode when we will be discussing the power of gratitude and reframing our perspective.